Hello guys, Tom here from Train Sim TV, bringing you another tutorial for Train Simulator 2018. Today we're going to be looking at railwork tools and how you would go about creating a quick drive consist or fragment for the sim. So first things first, you need to make sure you have the latest version of railwork tools installed. Um, I will put the link below after the uh, video for you. Um, first of all. Um, you need to make sure uh, when doing a quick drive consist that you have a preload folder set up. So you go to options, preload folder, and uh, providing you've obviously created one within your assets folder, um, you'll then go need, you need to go and find it. So mine, which I've already made already, uh, is in assets. Um, it's VP, Vulcan Productions VP, and for the project I'm doing this for. Um, while well, doing the tutorial, it's for the Churnet Valley Railway uh, fictional that we have going for our uh, galas. So um, once you've picked yours, click CVR myself and uh, then you click OK. So now whenever you click um, to make your free, whatever you're making, your stock or just your statics, um, once you save them, it'll put them in that folder. Now, before you do the next step you need to make sure anything you want to include uh, in this list will have to be um, unpacked out of the .ap file so you need to go to wherever it is you're wanting if provided it is in an .ap file so the old stuff's not in .ap files but um, for instance if you go to let's have a look class 92 there we go we've got an .ap file there so to make sure this works and picks up your stock you'd have to open it and just unpack the rail vehicles and then just drag it in and drop it. So once you've done that, head to Asset Edit under Edit Assets slash Content. Click that. And now I've already done this, but what you would need to do is create a index of all your stock. So um, do this. It's already going to be highlighted over Assets. So you need to click Rolling Stock Only. I exclude preloads and go untick that and then you'll click add to list and then depending on how much stock you've got it could take 10-15 minutes to half an hour it took about half hour or so for me because I've got quite a lot installed so once it's finished um, you'll see the total items increasing all the time um, it will pop up with a little message saying everything has been added to the box below once you've done so you'll need to click save and then as you can see mine's already here so you just call it index and then save it so as you can see, if I click index on the load, this is what it will look like when it's finished. Everything that you've got will be in here, providing you've uh, told it to grab all that information. So once you've done that, you need to close this. Um, I'm just going to bring up what I need now, which is going to be a stock list of what I need to do to make this uh, quick drive. So I'm going to be making set two. I was going to do set one, but uh, I'm not too sure on this first one. I don't think I've got it installed at the minute, so I'm not going to do that one. So, you need to go to scenarios, build QD consists or fragments, and let that load up, and it'll bring up this new window. So, as you can see, at the uh, bottom list is all the stock, and uh, at the minute there's nothing above. So, um, I'm going to use my little chart, so if I just this like so I need to grab um, M5175 off the list so I'm going to look over here so M5175 so that's that one there and it is a Mark 1 Maroon TSO so I'm going to use the full conduction mega pack so it's under the 6MT um, if you just pop in here what you want it'll search it for you 6MT and it'll bring up everything from where it starts to where it finishes where if you see something else pops up so as I said it's a mark 1 TSO maroon so as you can see it brings up their name on the next box so we want a mark 1 TSO maroon so just 
just double click and it'll bring it up so that is the first item in your contest now you can add a loco um, but this is just a um, static contest for coaches to pick up on a free uh, free roam which we do in our goals <coughs> um, I will do um, coverage on drivable stock as well at a later date now um, the next coach I need to grab uh, is E35 Three four three. So E three five four three four three is this one here. And once again, this is the Mark One, and it's an, a maroon BSK. So I need to find BSK in here somewhere. If I can find one. So we'll go with the BFK. So it's a BSK. Um, it's a maroon. There we go. So just double click that, and that's the second one in. Um, as you'll see, it says false. Um, depending on what you're driving, sometimes it'll uh, you can flip things around. So let's just say you put a HST and a HST on their own, so two HSTs. You put one in, so the false will be the uh, driving end, and then the rear you just flip. Um, so you go here and flip select it, it'll make it true. So it'll have a, a double-ended HST set without the coaches. Um, I'll put that back to false because it doesn't matter. Right, so the next in the rake we need S4392. Now this is a SR green. So this is southern region. <coughs> Oops, double check that. Uh, that's a TSO. So, TSO BR Southern. There we go. That's the third of um, five on this set. Uh, fourth is a SC, which I think is this one here. Just double check SC 133. Yep. So, this is another maroon Mark 1, and it's an FK. So. Find an FK. <coughs> there we go. And then the final one for this consists is M two five eight nine one. So M two five eight nine one is there, and that's a maroon SK. Once again, I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger. <coughs> so, SK, wherever that is, let's have a look. Just want to double check that it is an SK. For now, because um, I can't find an SK, I, don't, I might have to install some more stuff. But I'm just going to double click another one in just for now. So I'll just put another BFK in for this. Right, so for tutorial purposes, um, I'm going to show you now how to save it. And then go and find out if it works in your game. So you need to now go to build. And then you go to build quick drive consist. And it brings up a new window for you. So consist name I'm going to call it CVR set 2 um, now um, depending if it's a low code you're going to drive um, this will be for your quick drive screen when you go and click and find stuff you need to make sure it's in a name that you can find um, but with this one being um, coaching only I'm just going to put CVR set 2 again handy uh, use because we're not driving it and same again but you just need to make sure you put them in names that you can find in your list. Now, whether it's a drivable, um, which this one's not, if it was a drivable locomotive, you just pick if it's diesel, steam, or electric. 
but because it's not drivable, we're just going to put none tick where we've been coaching stock. Now, if it's a drivable um, AI um, in your scenarios, you can pick a load of routes that you want this uh, set if it was a with a low code to see. So, provided it's UK, you can you could pick. Let's just say, pick these three routes you want to see it on the in quick drives. Um, then your era, you want to pop. Let's just say 1990 on this to 2050. Um, then is it a regional fast intercity and all that? Now I'm just going to put commuter. I'm going to untick these though because we're not actually uh, using this for a drive. But if you were doing it, you'd just highlight as many routes as you'd like. So now you need to say it's just click OK. Oh, I need to pick a route. OK, so I'll just put churn it. It's easy enough. Right, so click OK. Your new preload has been uh, popped into the folder, so let's just double check. Um, so we need to head to the VP folder. See if you have preloads, and it is not there. <laughs> um, there it is, it's popped it in here for me. So what I'll do is I'm just going to drag it to my preload. It's down to me that. Um, so what we'll do now is uh, load the game and hopefully it'll show up when I tick it. Right then. So, I'm just going to fly to the loco uh, coaching stock shed. Um, this is um, set 4, which has already been placed manually. So, um, we need to go to the dev object filter and find VP. My fingers crossed this works, so it's just been a totally waste of exercise. So we'll click, tick, go to the consists, and we need to look for CVR set 2. My fingers crossed, with a bit of luck, it should be here. There we go. So, as you can see, the set we have made is in. Now, it's not correct, I need to redo it because there's a couple of liveries not right, but as you can see that is how you make a um, set of um, coaches in Railroad Tools to place without having to go through the um, mirror roll of just doing one at a time so, yep, you'll click that pop it in and then you're good to go so hopefully uh, that's been quite informative for you all um, I will cover the locomotive side of uh, quick drives where you can click them from the menu to drive them straight away um, please do look out for that one um, also please do give us a subscribe um, if you're enjoying the channel um, by clicking the button below and if you can click the bell for the notifications you'll get um, updates of when I put a new video up and finally don't forget to check out the streams um, over on Twitch TV there is a link below um, Twitch TV forward slash Thomas 2 stream most nights um, providing there is no shift that stop me from doing so um, but yeah hope to see you there thank you very much guys and we'll see you on the next one